Hello, Virgo. We have a counterpart here that actually messed up pretty bad, <laughs> but they're coming back. Not with a single offer, not with a double, not with a triple, but a quadruple. Let's dig in and see what they're bringing. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. This is the Virgo Tarot reading. This is a general reading for the first half of December 2020. Let's dig in to see what we have for the theme for you guys for the first half of the month. That's a weird cut, but okay. You want the very bottom of the deck? Okay. Maven of Masks, number 44. I haven't gotten that one in a long time. Let's see. It says, who do you want to be? Try that self on for size. You might just discover another genuine facet of you beyond your known identity. The Maven of Mass tells you, act as you wish to be, and so you shall be. Hmm. Sounds a bit transformational. Stepping into the authentic sense of self. We'll find out what the rest of the theme if... I have a feeling the the word mask has more to more to play here. Okay. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus, there's some earth energy. And let's see what we get. For the other half of the theme. Okay. Oh, okay. That's standstill. And truth. trust <sighs> this feels like there's a bit of a revealing here the truth to be revealed if someone loses their mask or takes takes off the mask rather there may need something about now any any movie you've seen when there's some sort of um, antihero with a mask and there's some sort of trust that needs to be established before that person reveals their identity. That's what this feels like. <laughs> that's that's what this feels like. Like the mask has been worn for a long time. Okay. What is going on with Virgo <laughs> for the first half of December 2020? Okay. Page of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, Knight of Cups. Okay, so Virgo, this feels like someone is bringing you in an offer for a brand new beginning. This is loving, passionate, real, a way to do a relationship new. I see you're kind of showing up as a little bit of a traditionalist here. There you go. Traditional relationship, traditional marriage. And it's like this offer is so robust that you don't know what to do with it. That you can't fully see. The truth is, that's so, oh, that's cute. 
the truth is that this is moving into stability in a, in a connection very quickly. Person could be a fire sign. So this question of who you want to be. It looks like that you're asking. I'm feeling like there's there's been this idea of relationship in your head that is a bit rigid still. Us earth signs can be that way. I'm 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 a Taurus sun. So it feels like you may be thinking of relationship in a very finite sort of way when this person bringing in this energy, this king of wands, they're doing it in a new way. That's really refreshing. That's not how you normally see it happen. So they're bringing all this, they're, look at, they're bringing all of this in. There's like no identity of themselves showing up. It's just offer, 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 offer. This is incredible. It's, this is offer after offer, guys. <laughs> it's, it may look like a smaller offer when it first comes in, then it just compounds. Boom, 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 boom. There's all of this in that offer. Hmm. So in the rigidity about relationship, you've been wearing the same mask about relationship for a long time. This may be the chance to choose a new one. Okay. The chance to see this connection for the truth that it is in its essence and also for you. And to trust that connection too. This, this, this looks fantastic. So let's get into this page of cups. What's coming in? What are the details behind this offer? What are, what's the full nitty gritty? Seven of pentacles. Nine of Wands, Justice, oh. Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, Temperance, nice. So this is someone that you know. Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Three of Swords, Emperor. Oh, okay. World and five of swords, hangman, fool. Nice. Judgment on the bottom. Getting through. Wow. Okay. There was a lot of fear and deception previously. And this person is coming in to clean all this up. Okay. Choosing choosing to resurrect the connection with that judgment card. Okay. Okay. So sketchy behavior in the past, that's getting even, that's getting balanced here with the justice card in order to, and I love how this is being balanced in the 3d and the 5d. Okay. You're going to see the difference here in this person. Okay. So the past has been, has reached equilibrium again. And now reunion is possible. It's being divinely guided, divinely protected. Archangel Michael there with his cups. This is what is meant for you to trust that this is being handled for you. Okay. It looks like what's left is for you to put down any burdens that are lingering about this connection, which is easy to say, right? <laughs> it's really easy to say 10 times harder to do, but 
the great thing about moving on from this heartache here is that it levels you up. Okay. So you're not going to show up as a king anymore. You've reached a level of mastery because the emperor is the king of all the kings because he's mastered all the four elements. Right? That's why this is such a huge victory, a huge completion, a huge point of enlightenment for you. So then you're ready to take a new risk. Wow. All right, so previous relationship getting resurrected. Person coming in with a quadruple offer. <laughs> Let's look a little more into that. Let's start with the Page of Pentacles. What's coming in with that? Seven of Swords. Death. Perfect. Ace of Wands. What's coming in with that? Ooh, Seven of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Ten of Wands again. Okay. Knight of Cups. Worlds. Again. Four of Swords. Nice. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Sun, nice, Queen of Pentacles, oh, okay. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, cool, <laughs> good, Five of Cups, Eight of Cups, Three of Wands, okay, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. Wow. High Priestess on the bottom. Seeing the truth about the past and it getting blown up by this love offer. Isn't that beautiful? All right. So let's start with your person. So within this love offer, what's also being offered is a very real transformation or an ending of the previous deception. A very real ending. Why is it real? It comes in with the Page of Pentacles. Money's real. <laughs> Money is real in the 3D. And the other part, the, the, what's coming in with the Ace of Wands layer to this, is the choice to do relationship in a very equal way, where there is a win-win for both parties in order to help put the burden down of what happened before. And this is a completion of a cycle, guys. This this one part of the offer, because you've got the Ace of Wands here and you've got the 10 at the end. They're offering you a completion of an entire cycle about the past and building the new in just one facet of this offer. The Knight of Cups is bringing in a giant completion still with the world, followed by the Four of Swords. And it's this completion this clearing the air really catalyzes this healing. Okay. So up here, two of pentacles, queen of wands, three of pentacles, sun. So the progression with your person now showing up as Queen of Wands. Previously showed up as King of Wands, right? Yeah. In the... Yeah. And there is the desire to work through this because of this progression from two to three and then ending here with the sun. Happiest days. Happiest card in the deck. That happens in spite of what happened before. So what's over... Come here. What's over for you is the waiting, the slow pace, because this looks really slow. <laughs> 
and it looks like they exited. But here you stand, waiting for the return. And not only does it return, it returns quadruple four fold, as you saw, including a brand new beginning in love to make this connection stable, to move it forward, passionately so. This is a very deep connection, and this is something that you know. But this is because it doesn't look exactly how you want it to look right now, if this person hasn't come through yet, this is where you're being asked to be still and trust. This is where you're being asked to remove the mask that might be more like blinders. Because what's coming in is coming in in a way that you're not used to. Okay. This is, I, I'm getting the word unconventional. Okay. So don't get too bogged down in the rigidity of the earth energy. Because it looks like there's going to be some open heartedness required here to really understand what's going on when it unfolds in front of you. Okay. Okay. All right, Virgo, this is what I have for you. Um, I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with your person right now in the near future and the final outcome of this connection as well as timing. So if you're interested in any of that information, the link to the extended is in the description box below. That's where you can follow me on over there. And I will see you guys next time. Bye now. Ooh.